Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be the next NHL series reaction. Congratulations to Boston Bruins fans as you advance and beat the Washington Capitals as they really stomped on those Capitals well, minus game one that they played well but lost 3 2 in overtime on that Nick Dowd deflection by the TJ Oshie shot. Dowd had a pretty good series on the ice, all things considered, and then Craig Anderson being the first storyline of the playoffs, having to come in for Vanacek. Did well even in that 4-3 loss in Game 2. He made a bunch of saves. They just ended up losing 4-3. As in that game, Craig Anderson made 44 saves um, on 48 shots. So, he played well himself. The Capitals, really, they just weren't able to get going enough in this game. This was a very fun series. The first uh, two games went to OT, of course. And then in the third game, or excuse me, the first three games went to OT, as in the next two, the Bruins were able to win, where in the first game, the Bruins unfortunately lost in OT for them, and then in the fourth game, they absolutely stomped them to take a 3-1 to -one series lead, beating the Capitals 4-1, to -one, out shooting them 37-20, to -20, and absolutely pounding them with that first line taking full effect with Marchand and Pasternak getting a goal, and then down the lineup, guys like Charlie Coyle chipping in to get a goal, and Matt Grizzly from back on the point. The Bruins really just played well. It proves how great of a coach Bruce Cassidy is. Um, obviously, always being a guy that should be considered for the Jack Adams just by how good of a coach he is. This just proves it because they did great. They limited that team absolutely tremendously. The Capitals have obviously a potent offense with the backs from the world. The Ovechkins, the Kuzis, and all that. And obviously, John Carlson from the back end. They limited them well. The most goals they scored in the series per game was three when they won the first game three to two. Then they lost four to three in the second game. After that, the most they scored was two. They lost three to two in that other overtime in game three, of course, where they were able to get the Craig Smith wraparound goal, which was a mistake um, in that game by Sam Sonoff in his first game in. In a game he actually played well all around. They were able to get a three to him, but they still limited them to two goals, then limited them to one and one. In a game, the final game of the series, that the Capitals actually brought it to them with 41 shots. But Tuka Rask, Tuk, played an absolutely stellar game, making 40 saves on 41 shots. And the Bees, the Bruins, were able to score. Their scoring punch was still there. Even while getting out shot, they were very good opportunists in that first line with Bergeron getting two goals, not just one. Two on the wrist shot late in the third, 12-25 into the third, more at the midway, and then Pasternak and Berge both scoring in the second period to make it 2 nothing at that time. Shiri's the only one that scored for the Capitals in that game. So they really limited the grade 8 well in this series. They really limited the pivotal part of the Capitals. The most goals they scored was three in this series. The Bruins' defense played great. Tuka Reyes played very good, having a fantastic final game. So that's great for the Bruins going into the next series. And there's really... All signs moving good for the Bruins. Like I said, they have a great head coach. You brought in Taylor Hall, who was able to produce three points for you in five games in the postseason. Your first line's absolutely churning with Pasternak, Bergeron, and Marchand. Six points for Pasta, um, three goals and one assist for Berge for four points, and then three goals for Marchand. Um, in the first round, and then you were able to get two goals and an assist from Hall. You were able to get a goal contributed by Charlie Coyle to have two points, three and three. DeBrus having three points in five games, two goals and an assist is huge since he had a very just average to mediocre regular season for his standards, and he looks like he's kind of coming out of his shell a bit here in the playoffs. So all things are moving in good order for the Boston Bruins, that is for sure, as they were able to take it to the Washington Capitals really well in this series and beat them 4-1, to limit them to the most three goals, and then they were able to just really play well offensively. That first line was absolutely potent, and those would be the stars of the series, the Bergeron, Marshan, and Pasternak line. That line was potent. Then the Boston Bruins defense from their forward court through their defense would be the stars as well because they just limited the Capitals tremendously. And then Tuka Rask, who played a hell of a series as well, would be the third star. I hope you all enjoyed this series recap. Sorry it was a little bit late, but like Pirlo Wisdom says of the Great Steel Flyers, uh, dot com, you got to do some things that when you feel like it o'clock, and this was when I feel like it o'clock. And the Boston Bruins fans, congratulations to you. Hell of a series by you, and it looks like you're definitely going places this year in the playoffs. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out, and enjoy the rest of the Stanley Cup playoffs. How, boy, have they been amazing this far. Stay safe and peace.